guitar lessons. I'm instructor Dwayne Jenkins. In today's video lesson, we're going to talk about how to recognize notes on your fretboard. So if you don't know your notes, be sure to keep watching. Now, one of the things that I run into that's really common for a lot of self-starter guitar players is they don't know their notes. Okay, they know chords, and they might know how to play a few scales, but you say, what note is that? They don't know. And they run into a rut because of it, you know. They, pretty soon everything starts sounding the same, and it's because they don't know how to embellish what they know already, okay? If you know your chords, you know some basic chords, and you know your notes, you can learn how to embellish those chords and make them sound even better. Okay, add your sixes, your sevens, your nines, elevens, thirteens, you know, augmented, diminished, that kind of stuff. But you can't create that stuff without knowing your notes, okay? It's very, very important. Same thing with scales. If you know how to, you know, if you know your notes, you know how to alter those scales. Minor scales, major scales, harmonic scales, dominant scales, you know, there's diminished scales. There's a whole ton of them, ton of scales, ton of scores. It's really, really amazing what you can do with this instrument. You got six strings and roughly 12 frets. And what you can do with it is really, it's limitless, endless, okay? So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about three things that you can do to help recognize your notes on your fretboard quickly, okay? Number one, learn your musical alphabet. Know that, that is like the foundation of all music, is your musical alphabet. It's like if you were a writer and you wanted to be good at writing, you would have to know the musical alphabet, <laughs> not the musical alphabet, sorry. You'd have to know the alphabet, A through Z. So, as a musician, you want to learn the musical alphabet, okay? And it goes A through G, and there's sharps in between, the, between them. So learn that, okay? If you know that, memorize it. That's going to make a huge difference on your guitar playing, okay? It's going to allow you to know how notes work on the guitar, okay? Very, very important. That's like the major formula to master is your musical alphabet, okay? Number two, learn and memorize your guitar strings, okay? That's important too. You'd be amazed how many guitar players I've run into over the years who don't even know their guitar, the names of their guitar strings. You gotta know that, it's very important because once again, it allows you to build, okay? If you know where your notes are, if you say, okay, I know there's a G here, and I know there's a G here, and I know there's a G here, and I know there's a G here, you're gonna, that's gonna allow you to have a good starting point as far as building is concerned. Building your chords, okay? Making chords into majors or minors or diminished or augmented or whatnot, okay? Very, very important. So I would highly recognize, highly recommend that you learn that, okay? It's very, very important, all right? Number three, practice visualization. Being able to see your notes on the fretboard is real important, okay? If you practice visualization, you'll be able to see them. You'll be able to know them. You'll know exactly where they are. You'll, you know, like I mentioned to you before, you know, through years of playing, I've been able to visualize where these notes are. You know, I know there's a G here, a G here, there's a G here, there's, a G, there's also a G over here. You know, there's all kinds of different places where the notes are. And if you just study this, this fretboard, and you master those notes, you're gonna find out very quickly where they're at, and you're gonna be able to see them, and then you're gonna be able to embellish your chords. Make sure you be able to see where those notes are, okay? Very, very important. And last, last but not least, I would say, learn some basic music theory, okay? That's gonna make a big difference. I know with guitar players, they don't, a lot of them don't like to learn music theory, you know? It's like a person who drives a car. They just want to drive the car. They don't want to learn how the guitar, how the car operates, you know? They say, oh, I don't want to know about the engine, the transmission, and the rear end, and all that stuff. They just, you know, just show me how to drive the car. And that's fine, okay? But if you're going to be a serious musician, if you're going to be a serious guitar player, you should know at least some basic music theory. It's very, very important because it lets you un unlock the mysteries of this fretboard, okay? There's a lot of mysteries here. And the more you can unlock those mysteries, the better you're gonna be. You're gonna be able to create better, you're gonna be able to learn better, you're gonna be able to play better. This year just overall gonna be better, okay? So, practice those three tips. If there's anything else that you wanna to add to the, to the uh, discussion, go look, be sure to leave it in the comment below. Be sure to visit my website at dwaynesguitarlessons.com. Join my guitar club where I got a lot of good training there, some insider secrets and some uh, discounts with some products and really help you out with your guitar playing, all right? And be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for some future subscriptions, for future, not subscriptions, but you know what I'm talking about. 
future notifications of future videos, all right? So I hope you're having yourself a good one. Keep practicing every day. Memorize those notes on your fretboard, and I guarantee you it's gonna make you a better guitar player. Until next time, take care.